Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Power Query to rearrange text or values. So I'm going to use some simple examples. Let's say we have a, an address here. This is a MAC address. And for those who know about MAC addresses, they are basically the hard-coded address that you find in most um, electronic devices, such, such as your laptop, that provide connect connectivity. The first pair of numbers here, 71, F651, that's your organizational identifier. And then the second three pairs are your network interface identifier. And this one tells you which company created your device. Uh, this one tells you the unique identifier for that specific device. Now, if we wanted to do something silly like uh, rearrange it, where we have the NIC uh, come for, coming first and then the OUI coming later, we can do that. You can see that you can do that in Excel here. You take the left values here, you take the right values or the right most characters values and we have our concatenate function which just kind of swaps it around. We can do something similar in Power Query. Of course we wouldn't do it here with MAC address numbers because it really wouldn't make too much sense but this is just an example of what we can do in Power Query to swap things around, rearrange text within your values, your cells. I'll copy this, Control C to copy, bring it over here into a, another column, Control V double click the autofill that and I'll bring that into Power Query go to data from table and range it's going to create a table my table does have headers click OK and we'll have Power Query editor window open here what we can do is we can use some of the some M code to do this it's not here we are going to add a column go to add column custom column and I'll just call this Nick Nick N I C dash O U I. And very similar to Excel where we have our left, mid, and right functions. In Power Query, we have similar functions like that. And it's called text. This one I'm going to use first is called text.middle. M I D D. Let's see if it figured it out. Yep. Double click that. And text.middle is similar to the mid function in Excel. If you want to learn more about the different functions, you can click on here. It's going to open up Microsoft's web page with the Power Query functions. I can just type text.middle. It found it, and it'll take you there. You can see the syntax, about, and some examples. We'll close this for now. And also what's nice in Power Query nowadays is when you enter the function, it's going to give you a pop-up to give you the arguments that it needs. So our text is going to be that address column. Double click that. It's going to enclose it in square brackets. And I need my start as number, comma. The number I'm going to start at is, I believe it's going to be 9. Or it is 10. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think it's 9. Let's click OK to see if it brought it back. Yes, it did. So it brought back the nick start at the ninth place go back in here click the gear icon brings back my custom column window I want to add something else here too I want to add the dash right and any string you have to put in quotes so that's double quotes and so that's my nick number I want to add my OUI number I'm gonna do the same thing where I have to find a text function. So this is going to be start. Text start. And that's this one I'll use. Double click that. Open parentheses. Click that. And how many do we want to count? Well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we only want to bring back 8 values, so that's comma 8. Close parentheses. Click OK. Was that going to be 8? Let's see. We have uh, 76 F651, 51, 35, yep. So that brings us our values there. So you can see we have these functions, text.middle, which is similar to the mid function in Excel, and text.start, which is similar to the left function in Excel. Click OK. I think I only need this column. Right click, remove, and let's bring it back in, close and load, and bring it back into our Excel sheet here. I'll bring it in column H here click on table, existing worksheet, put it here in column H, click OK, and now you notice it has the same values as that. 
So that's what we can do if we have text values and we're certain that they only occupy certain spaces, character spaces within uh, the cell and you want to kind of bring those back. Now, if we had a situation where they didn't occupy certain spaces, we see that these are FDA NDC codes, um, labeler product codes. Some are, some before the dash are five characters, others are four characters, right? And so we want to do this wholesale. We can see here, the, the way that I've done it here with Excel, and here the left function uh, encapsulates a find function. It's going to look for that dash and anything that is before that dash, it will bring back that number. The product function kind of does something similar. It's going to find that dash and anything after that dash, it's going to bring anything mid middle of that out. This 10 indicates that, well, there's going to not going to be really a, a product code that's greater than 10, but 10 kind of fits the ballpark. Press escape here. And this reverse is basically just the combination. The concat function is combining those two in reverse order. How can we do this in Power Query? Let's see how we can do this. Control C to copy, Control V to paste, double click to auto fit. Let's bring this into Power Query from table and range. My table does have headers, click OK. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these by the delimiter. The dash is the delimiter. First, I will right click and duplicate this column because I want to use this column to check. We're going to right click and split. So we're going to split this column by the delimiter. And that delimiter is that dash. And it kind of figured out that we do have a dash. Excel was kind of smart enough to figure it out. And so it's going to separate into two columns now. And now I can call this one labeler and this one product. Now, of course, this is not a really good example using this NDC code why you'd want to swap them, but it's just illustrative of if you wanted to swap uh, the values in your text or your, your, your content in your cells. Now, if we wanted to swap them around, all we need to do is click on that press the control key, click on that column, and what we want to do is merge it. So I'm going to right click and use merge columns, and it's going to ask if I want to use a separator. Well, I'm going to use my dash as a separator. And for the new column name, I'll just call this product dash labeler. Click OK, and now we have it reversed. And it's nicely done that. Right click, remove this column, let's close and load, close and load to right next to it here in H1, select table, existing worksheet, let's put an H1 here, click OK, and now we have our, our identifiers. So what's also nice in Power Query is if we add it to it, let's say I just made up some numbers, 111, dash, 123, press enter. Go to data, refresh all, it's going to do the same thing there now. And that's the nice thing about Power Query is, is if you had added any more information into your source data, you can just refresh it and it will execute all those commands and output it wherever you want it in your table. So again, this is kind of illustrative. It's not a good example of using um, items here to do our reverse or changing the or rearranging where they're at. but for Power Query, what's the nice thing about it is that you're able to programmatically or systematically do it. And in it by itself, if you had a small data set, probably better to use your functions here in Excel to do it. But if what you want to do is part of a larger set of steps where you're trying to clean up data and you wanted to do that, doing it this way in Power Query where you can rearrange data, either if they are kind of uniform or they're kind of in variable positions. Power Query is a pretty nice tool to be able to rearrange data within your cells. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.